Okay. Hey everyone, this is Two Big Kim from Two Big Women on a Couch dot com. You know that's that social networking place where women come together who are plus size and formerly plus size just to have some fun, connect with other women, and just share uh, ideas, thoughts, and all kinds of things. So hope you're over on that site enjoying uh, the forums, the chat rooms, uh, putting up your videos, uh, and so forth. It is really the place to be uh, for you and uh, those that you know who can really use some support in that regard. Uh, today I have with me uh, one of our, actually I would say she's almost famous on our website. Uh, her name is Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa Gill, and uh, she goes on the Two Big Women on a Couch dot com website as Lady V. And uh, what you'll find when you come out there is you'll see that Lady V has put up a lot of incredible recipes, some very delicious recipes, and now is the time to actually be looking in the forum for the recipes because everybody's trying to figure out what to cook for the holidays. And uh, you'll also find that she's put up a lot of wonderful affirmations and so forth. So today we're just going to talk about uh, what it means to nurture our women. And so Vanessa, welcome and thank you for doing this with me. Thank you, Kim. I am uh, honored to be here, and uh, it is a surprise, you know. I just don't, uh, this is something that I'm not used to, so I, I thank you for getting, you know, getting me out of the mode of being a novice. <laughs> You're talking about the technology, right? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I'm loving it, and I thank you once again for inviting me to come and speak. All right. Thank you so much. Well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and have you just kind of begin uh, on the topic of nurturing our women, because it was certainly a topic that we, you know, think is very, very important and one that you brought to my attention. So turn it over to you and, and let you just kind of get started. Thank you, Kim. Well, nurturing our women is to uh, bring um, understanding and knowledge to our women. Uh, so many of our women are uh, having issues with a low self-esteem and uh, just not really feeling very good about themselves. And we, as being women and sisters, need to bring our women up to the place they need to be. If it's not with, um, if it's not only with affirmations, or it can be, you know, just a greeting. You know, you look lovely today. You know, mm -hmm. well, I love your hair today. You know, a lot of times we look down on uh, women because, you know either we don't have what they have or they look better than we look, you know, we kind of think those things, but just nurturing our women is, is, is being the thing that we, we were made to be, we are made to be nurturers. So not only do we nurture our children or we nurture our husbands, we need to worship that work, uh, uh, nurture our sisters as well. And, um, uh, I have a ministry call, uh, was, and now the acronym is, uh, nurturing our women, you know, uh, it just brings a lot of information to women about how they can love themselves because we uh, as women don't love ourselves sometimes and a lot of times we do other things and we let other things come in our life and, and take over and we don't take the time to nurture ourselves. We don't even see ourselves as beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've hear women say that sometimes. I hear that they think that they're not beautiful or that they're not deserving or, you know, things of, of that nature. And uh, so I'm really pleased that you have, uh, you know, the willingness and ability to come out and sort of share some things with us. Why do you think that is? What is it about, you know, us as very beautiful um things on this earth. Here we are, very beautiful women and so forth, all of us, no matter what size, no matter what color, no matter what, you know, your stature in life or whatever. But uh, but so many women do feel a little bit more uh, downtrodden or, or just not, you know, not everything that they want to be. Why do you think uh, that happens? Yeah, it does. Um, uh, society, you know, it's many things, uh, aspects that uh, bring women to that point. Society has deemed us larger women as unuseful, um, un, unattractive, uh, and you know, the state, the statement of beauty is in the eye of the beholder is so true. So we need to see beauty. We need to know what beauty is. Beauty has many aspects. Beauty is, is, is so far has a so much of a range mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, God made everything on this earth beautiful. Um, a lot of times we don't we don't see that we're not taught that um, you know me as growing up as, as a young girl I, I was never told I was beautiful all I heard that it was I was fat mm -hmm. so that you know stuck with me quite a while once I started seeing within myself that I am beautiful started feeling within myself that I am beautiful uh, that kind of changed life for me a bit um, 
what was the turning point for you? How did you get to a point from being, like you said, called fat and, and made to feel, you know, less than or whatever as a child? What turned it around for you? How did you find that, uh, that whatever it was that got you to where you feel beautiful? If you remember the first um, uh, post I put on, on the site about this older woman that came to me about the light in my eye, she did not see the light in my eye. And, you know, she continued on to tell me after that. That wasn't the only conversation I had with her. And I probably was about 20-some years old when we had that com those conversations. And she often told me how beautiful I was. I did not feel beautiful. I, You know, I did not even, even though I, I, I dressed and, and had makeup on, I did not feel beautiful, but she saw the beauty in me, mm -hmm. and she brought that beauty out. That was a turning point for me, that someone else was so adamant about my beauty. So that almost sounds like a, a strategy, if you would. I mean, I hate to say that we have to employ strategies, but it almost sounds like a strategy that if we just tell folks how beautiful they really are. I mean, I mean, it just seems so... So, Nurturing so, our women. Yeah, yeah. We just have to let Being folks to know that they let them know that they are beautiful. Right. And uh, I, I tell you, you know, day to day, there I'm always the one to say, you know, uh, even in my church setting, uh, we have a, a point in time during the service that we go around and we greet each other. And one of the things I tell them is that I love them. And another thing I tell them <laughs> is that you look so nice today, mm -hmm. or I love your makeup today, or you know, I, they know I'm a jewelry person. Oh, you 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 have to give me that jewelry, you know. And it brings a smile to their face, and in turn, it it. It, it just makes me feel so good that I have done something to make them smile that day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that is awesome. Any other tips around just nurturing our women? What else would you like to say about this topic? Um, I think that we need to be uh, more respective of uh, the women around us. Uh, sometimes we don't have a relationship with women uh, because we feel that it may not be uh, something that they want. Um, we don't have to push ourselves on them, but, you know, put yourself in a place to where they feel that they can come to you. You know, a lot of times we have this sad face on, you know, on this mean looking face on. Smile, you know, sometimes that's all it takes is just a smile, you know, just thinking of the things that they may be going through. Just because you're having a good day does not mean that they're having one, you know, and just a touch on the hand or, or just, you know, a nod of the head is nurturing our woman because we are, are in a simple way just saying, I know what you're going through. Okay, so a kind word, a gentle smile, just some kind of acknowledgement, showing that you really yeah. know that that person is present and you're trying to be present with them is what it sounds right. like to me. Okay. Right. We need to bear each other's burden sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's the basis of it, you know, just knowing that I know what you're going through or I have been what you're going through or even if I don't know what you're going through, I'm going to go through with, you know, mm -hmm. go through with it with you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes stepping out of ourselves so we can actually be really with someone else, I think, is what I'm hearing you say. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's a must. Um, you know, society has made us put up these walls and these borders that, you know, don't step over them. You know, my three feet of space and, and don't enter it, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. that you can't have a relationship like that, okay. you know, with anyone, not only women, you know, but you just can't have a relationship when you don't tend to touch, reach out and touch. Okay. Well, thank you so much for this. I, I really know that women uh, do uh, struggle a bit sometimes with, with really believing in themselves. you got some very powerful women. Now, don't misunderstand. There's some wonderful women out there who are on top of the world, and they and they do exactly yes. what you're talking about doing, and they and they feel all of that. But there are some who really feel pretty downtrodden. and they feel pretty beat down and so forth. So I think it's really a matter of all of us just kind of hearing you know, what you're saying, and that is a gentle smile, a kind word, maybe a touch on the arm, uh, just something to, to sort of give back that acknowledgement and and uh, folks really do they really do um especially when you do it and you're genuine about it they really do feel good so right. yeah yeah well thank you for being right. with you me have to have a heart for it. <laughs> yes thank you for being with me on this topic i think it was uh, a really important one and I, I can't really wait to put it out there for uh, all the women to you know take something from this so thank you vanessa very much appreciate that thank you kim i appreciate your yeah, i appreciate you and the site um, you know, I, I really uh, think that you've done something that is unique. Great. Thank you. Well, if that's the case, please let folks know about it. We just um, it's a site built really by and for women, uh, you know, and so we, we need as many people to come out and enjoy it uh, just like you do. So thank you again. 
Thank you, Kim. All right. Have a good day. You too.